What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back for another awesome tutorial by yours truly, Pabalati. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your finished product from Marmoset Toolbag into a WordPress website using the awesome plugin developed over at Revolution Art. It's going to give you that one up that you need to show off your stuff to a potential employer, your current employer, your best friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your dog anybody out there that you could think would want to see your work guess what you're going to be able to show it to them using this pipeline let's get started okay we're going to be starting in marmoset toolbag 2 today and just go ahead and grab any model that you want to put on display you can do that by going to file import model you can use obj's or fbx's once you have your scene all set up and you're ready to go, go to File, and then Viewer Export. This is gonna have a pop-up window come up that's gonna ask for some meta information for the file that you're about to export. Go ahead and fill this out. Typically, I just use the title, author. I do put in a link normally. I didn't do that here. Texture quality, I usually just choose high, and I use lossless normals. You can go ahead and uncheck the box for write HTML. That's not important. Choose autoplay. I usually set my windows because WordPress likes uh, smaller resolutions. So I usually set it to 800 by 600 and I set it to full frame. I've noticed that there can be some, it, it almost looks like it's an inline frame that's occurring within the viewer if you do not have the full frame checked. So I always recommend checking that. Next thing you wanna do is just go ahead and hit export. Depending on the texture quality, it's gonna, the length of time it takes to export is going to be completely dependent on the texture quality you chose. So, for example, Unreasonable will take forever and it's a complete waste of time. I recommend not doing that. High is good enough, so just stick with that. Once you're logged into your WordPress site, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and install the plugin. You can do this by going over to the left. On the left hand side, you can just use plugins, add new. Then using the search box up at the top on the right hand side, just go ahead and type in Marmoset and you're gonna see the Marmoset viewer comes up. Go ahead and install it. Once the plugin is installed and activated, on the left hand side inside your dashboard, you'll now see a Marmoset viewer near the bottom. These are global settings for your WordPress site. As you can see here, here are my global settings for my WordPress site, every theme is going to have a different setup. So you're going to have to use the settings that work best for your theme. Once you're done setting your global settings, go ahead and hit save changes. My WordPress theme has portfolio items. This makes it a lot easier to go ahead and load new artwork into your site. I highly recommend finding a theme that works best for you, but also has this option for portfolio items. If not, you can always just click on add posts. Once the new item page is loaded, whether that's a portfolio item or a new post, you will notice that in the bar, there's an insert Marmoset Toolbag 2 in view file button. Go ahead and click it. This will launch a pop-up context window. This window will contain a couple of options for you. The first one is the in view file button on the left hand side. Before we click the button and start loading up our in view file, we actually need to upload it to the WordPress site first. You cannot do it traditionally from here. If you try, it will not be able to find the item. As you can see here, you cannot select the MVU file. It is selectable, but it does not allow us to select it. This can be remedied by going to the media option on the left hand side of your dashboard and uploading media separately from the post item. Select your file, choose the in view file, which is now selectable, and you will now see it uploaded. It does say here that the maximum upload file size is 32 megs, but eh, my file size is 70 megs. And even though that this looks like it's quick, this file size is 70, so it just might be something that WordPress is willing to overlook. Now we can go ahead and click the button Choose in view file. Now you'll see that it's still not selectable. 
As you saw there, I was able to change the drop down date and the media library updated. Probably because the file size is so large, it had a little bit of trouble refreshing. Now that our file is loaded here and it shows the path, you can choose to select it to autoplay and hit save. Now, my theme allows me to put in completion dates, client names, and other various items through the theme. Again, this is a great theme. Unfortunately, it is no longer supported and cannot be downloaded from ThemeForest, which is where you can get all the great WordPress themes you want. And one of the things it does ask for is a screenshot. Now, this is probably where I will use background. I usually blur it, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. And that's my screenshot. And once it's all said and done, we'll go to the page. And, and once the page loads, you'll see the Marmoset Viewer start to load on the WordPress page. It may take a second depending on your internet connection, but once it's done, you'll see the model fully loaded. I personally love the Marmoset Viewer. The options it gives to the viewer to be able to view your model in different forms is really helpful in seeing the object and how it's put together. From the topology, to the gloss map, to the albedo map, normal map. These are all viewable here with the Marmoset Viewer. You can also do more complex setups. If you want more objects in your scene, Marmoset can cater to you as well. Such as here, here is a character with other objects, such as a pedestal stand for him to stand on. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Please leave your comments below, click that subscribe button, show your love, show me that you want more and I'll do my best to get more out there for you. Until next time.